Good evening, Sans. Good evening. Good evening, Sans. Beautiful, beautiful to see you again. It's nice to see you again. It's quarter to midnight in the UK. It's quarter to midnight. I can see you. Welcome. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. It's a lovely thing to be in his presence. Yes, welcome. Welcome in the Lord's presence. Daddy loves you. Daddy enjoys talking to you. Daddy enjoys your presence. Daddy enjoys seeing you and imparting love and wisdom and direction because that's what we are here for these 30 days of june to receive direction to receive our portion to to go and do according to his will so that he will take the glory and we will walk in the full benefit full benefit he wants us to live well he wants us to enjoy his goodness and that's why he blesses us he blesses us so we can be a blessing so we can bring him glory so that people will know why he is god and why we should worship him and 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 why he's worthy of our time our effort everything we do because he created us all for himself for his pleasure and he wants to enjoy us. He wants to see that we are doing well. So welcome to the presence of the Lord. Today's passage, yes, yes. Today's passage, um, we, are, we are starting with uh, the Gospel of Luke. Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, and it's just the two verses. 11 and 12. Luke's Gospel, chapter 15, verses 11 and 12. And it says, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. So he divided to them his livelihood. The, the young uh, younger brother asked and the father did as he asked. And that is why we, if we quickly remember Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, it says the same. Ask and you shall receive. Matthew 7 verse 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find knock, and it shall be opened to you. For everyone who asks receive, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. That's what we are doing. Knocking on heaven's door every midnight. Knocking on heaven's door for 30 days. The 30 days in the month of June is the middle of the year. Whatever we did not achieve, whatever whatever we might have missed, whatever we did not recognize in the first half of the year, that's why we've been knocking on heaven's door these uh, days in June, so that the door will be open and usher us into our destiny, so that we don't miss anything in the coming half of the year 2022. And God has given us a blank check. He says, ask. Ask and it shall be, uh, and, and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open unto you. Whoever asks receives, and whoever seeks finds. And he who knocks, it will be open unto them. And um, Proverbs, quickly. Proverbs 22, verse 28. Let's see. These are prayer points so that we when we when we start to pray, we pray. 
um with 20 yeah uh, what is that proverbs no job no proverbs job sorry about that sorry about that mistook job 22 28 job 22 28 because it is up to us that like i said that he has given us a blank check he says you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you so light will shine on your ways exactly what we are praying for for light to shine on our ways so that we can enter into our destiny our god-given destiny because if we ask according to the will of god if we understand what our portion is if we understand god's will for us then of course he'll do it according to the word and according to his will we shall decree it we shall ask it and it shall come to pass because by now we have learned not to you know, you know, although the prodigal son knew his right, he took his right and he left. He took his inheritance and he left. But we, because of that story, we understand not to take our inheritance and leave. We know that our portion is in daddy's house. And when we receive we understand that we, we have to give him the glory. We have, we have to bring him the glory. We have to work our destiny out because he, he planned. His plans for us are good and not evil. So we need to understand that it is in God's interest for us to succeed. It is, it is in his interest that we should succeed. And that's why he says we should ask and it shall be given. The prodigal asked. And he received because he understood that he had an inheritance. So we understand that we have an inheritance, but we have also learned in the meantime, not just to take our inheritance and run. No, we build father's estate. We build the, the kingdom. We understand that everything in the kingdom belongs to us. If it, if it belongs to our father, it belongs to us. And, and look at what God does. See, outrageous miracles, outrageous blessings bring glory to God. Um, it, you know, it, it reveals the wonders of God. Let us quickly look at the story of the, the blind man, the, the, the man that was born blind, and Jesus met him in John chapter 9, John chapter 9, from verse 1 to 3. He says, Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, and he, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. You see, when Jesus healed that man, it was an outrageous miracle. And it revealed the power of God. It revealed the wonderful works of God. So when God does outrageous things in our lives, it's not so that we shall boast. It's not so that we take pride. It is so that his glory will be revealed. His power will be revealed. His love will be revealed. So he wants us to ask so that when we receive, it will be for his glory. Yes, it will be for his glory. Marco Sarata is Kalama Sanctum. Azibaba Arigaroda Azakata. Let us look at Psalm 119, verse 57. Psalm 119, verse 57 says, you are my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep your word. I have said that I have made a promise that I will keep your word. 
when you bless me, I will not take it and run. I have decided that I will do your will. I will keep your word. I will do, that's why I say, I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me according to your word. You see, it's according to God's word. We want to prosper according to God. We want to step into his destiny for us so that he can get the glory. Okay, so it's not about us just uh, asking for blessing. No, 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 no. It's about us making up our minds. I have promised. You are my portion. Psalm 119 verse 57 and 58. You are my portion, O Lord. I have said, I have promised in my heart that I would keep your words. I entreated your favor. You see, we are asking for God's favor in this season. I entreated your favor with my whole heart. I'm not coming to take and run. I'm just saying, Lord, Father, give me my portion. Let me know what is mine. What my my like like Jesus talked about the, the talents. One God five, one God two, one God one. Let me know what is mine because I want to work it. I want to work with it. I want to do everything in my power to bring you glory because I'm a priest and I am a king. Be merciful to me according to your word. So we, we, it is important for us to know that we are kings and priests. For example, in the book of Numbers, I'm just giving us loads of Bible portions now so that when we start to pray, we will refer to them. Numbers 18, verse 8, first of all. Verse 8 says, And the Lord spoke to Aaron, Here, I myself have also given you charge of my heave offerings. All the holy gifts and the children of Israel, I have given them as a portion to you and your sons as an ordinance forever. God wants to bless us. God has given us a portion according to his will, according to his pleasure. I have given them as a portion to you and your sons as an ordinance forever because we are praised. It's a gift for service. So we are not taking and running. We are taking and working so that we can work and enjoy the benefits. In verse 20 of the same Numbers chapter 18, he says, Then the Lord said to Aaron, You shall have no inheritance in their land, nor shall you have any portion among them. I am your portion. I am your portion and your inheritance among the children of Israel. God wants to bless us. He, you know, His blessing to us is his gift to us for service. We are here to serve. We are here to do his will. So, of course, he provides for us. And that's why we can say, Father, give me my portion. Give me my portion. Let me know what is due to me so that I can work it out, so that I can increase that which you have to, uh, given me. You told Adam and Eve, go forth and multiply, replenish the earth. Take dominion over everything I've created in, in uh, Genesis 1, 26. Then the Lord said, let us create man in our image according to our likeness. God wants us to be like him. We are his children. We have to have his DNA. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his image, in the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, said to them, be fruitful and multiply. So when God blesses us, it is so that we can be fruitful, we can grow, we can multiply. Verse 28, then God blessed them. God did not just create man and throw him out and say, go find what you do. No, he has a plan, he has a purpose a divine destiny. That is why we are praying. Genesis 1, 28. Then God blessed them. We are not 
See, we, when we talk about God's blessing, we are not begging God. <laughs> we are not begging God. People misunderstand that we are children, sons of God. The only thing we are asking is that we should, you know, he should open our eyes to see what is ours so that we stop looking at other people's own. God blessed Adam and Eve from day one. Nobody came into this world with anything. Everything we ever needed was in this world before we came. Our prayer is, Lord, show me my portion. Show me my destiny. Show me my inheritance. You are the portion of my inheritance. And it is midnight. God says, go, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth, subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And it is midnight, so we want to ask that. We want to pray that in. Marco Sarata, in the name of Jesus, we are not begging. No, no, no. All we are asking in this time is, Lord, show me my portion. It is your portion from your heavenly Father. So receive it with joy. Receive it with, with gratitude. Understand that it is a gift for service. He's blessing you and he's sending you out to represent him. Our prayer should be, Lord, help me to represent you well. Don't allow me to take my portion and run, but show me what is mine and give me the ability to work it out for your glory. Marco Asarata, Eskalama Sanctum, Aziba Aziba Arigaroda Azakata, it is my portion from my heavenly father, so I will enjoy it. Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata. Chelelakai, 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 Kandiaribo, 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 Marco, Asarata. Azegede, 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 Azakata. Zakata, 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 Asamari. I have made up my mind. I have made a promise that I would keep your word. If I ask according to your word, if I ask according to your will, of course I will receive because it is for your glory. So Father, give me my portion. Father, give me my inheritance. Father, show me the path of life. Father, lead me into that destiny that you have for me. Show me what you have sent me here to do for your glory, for my benefit, and the benefit of the body of Christ. Marco Asarata, Sandaramashe, 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 Es Kalama Sanctum, Aziba, 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 Ariga Roda. I am a priest and I am a king, so I want to work it out. I want to work on my God given. Uh, task on my God-given assignment. I'm not taking and running. No, I know that I belong to the family. I belong in the family. So whatever I have is for the glory of God and for my benefit. So Father, show me my portion. Give me my portion in the name of Jesus so that I can represent you well. Marco Asarata. Eskalama Sanctum, Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata, Zakata, 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 Asamare, Ariga, Ariga, Arigaroda, Azakata, Chelelakai, 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 Kandiaribo, Marco, Sarata, Azegede, Zegede, 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 Zegede. Father, we, we, we are here to receive instructions from you. My heart also instructs me in the night season. We are here during this midnight season to receive instruction from the Lord. We are here during this midnight season to receive divine, to receive divine direction so that we can fulfill our God-given destiny. Marco Sarata, Eskalama Sanctum, Azegede, 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 Azakata. Father, give me my portion and show me the part of life. You are my portion. Oh Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. I am not taking it and running. 
Um, I just want to know what is mine and I'm allowing you to maintain it. I'm allowing you to, to lead me and guide me and instruct me and help me to fulfill my destiny so that you receive the glory and I will walk in the benefit. Azibaba, Azibaba, Arigaroda, Azakata. Zakata, 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 Samari, Aziba. Azibaba, Arigaroda, Azakata. Chelelakai. Chelelakai, Chelelakai, Kandiaribo, Kandiaribo, Mako Asarata. Oh Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. My inheritance is of the Lord. He is my portion. He is my gift. He is my inheritance. In him alone, I can succeed. Mamabo Azakata. Azegede Azakata. I don't want anything that is not from him and of him. Mamabo Azakata. A gift. My, his gift to me is because I am his servant. I am, I am his king. I am his priest. I am representing him here. Numbers chapter 18, verse 20. Then the Lord said to Aaron, you shall have no inheritance in their land, nor shall you have any portion among them. I am your portion and your inheritance among the children of Israel. And that was a gift from God. Because in verse, eight, in verse 8, he clearly says, I myself have also given you charge over my heave offering. So all that the children of Israel bring to me, all that is mine is yours. That's exactly what Jesus said. All that the Father has is mine. And it's the same thing with us who are believers in Christ. All that Jesus has, belong to us. All things are ours in Christ Jesus. The Lord said it there, Numbers 18 verse 8. And the Lord spoke to Aaron, here, I myself have also given you charge of my heave offerings. All the holy gifts of the children of Israel, I have given them as a portion to you and your sons forever. This shall be yours of the most holy things reserved from the fire, every offering of theirs, every, every grain offering and every sin offering and every trespass offering which they render to me shall be most holy for you and your sons. It's a gift. We cannot boast. So we are asking, Lord, show me my portion. Give me my portion. Lead me in the path of righteousness. Show me the life that you created. God called Aaron. Aaron would never have known what to do. God chose him and called him his priest and gave him his portion. So when we serve in daddy's house, we will eat from daddy's table. Marco Asarata. Eskalama Santum. Azibaba Arigaroda Azakata. Father, we thank you for these 30 days of June 2022 that you have given to us to seek your face, to know your will, to ask of you according to your will and your plan for us, so that our lives will be according to your will. You say, if we ask anything according to your will, you will do it. So Lord, it is your will that we are asking for. We are not, we are not, uh, uh, you know, we, 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 even though we read the, the story of the prodigal son, he did not understand what we understand today. So, yes, he understood that he had an inheritance because a lot of Christians don't understand that they have an inheritance in God. They just struggle and struggle and struggle for no reason. So this is our opportunity in this month of June to know our inheritance and to say, Daddy, give me my inheritance for your glory. I'm not taking it and running like the prodigal son. No, 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 no. I understand that I belong in the family. I want those outrageous miracles that you do in my life, that you perform in my life to bring you glory, to, to show the, the mighty work, the, the, the wonderful works, to reveal who you are so that people don't class us as you know 
other religion. We are not doing religion here. We are serving Christ. We are Christians. Marco Asarata, born again believers in the Lord Jesus. We, we, we cancel whatever is called Christianity. We are anointed to rule. Ecclesia, the church is the anointed body of Christ to rule here on earth on his behalf. Jesus did not do democracy. Jesus says, my kingdom, my kingdom is not of this world, is not democracy. He said, pray, our father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. This is not a voting thing. <laughs> God has already put it down. If you are a son, you belong in the house, you eat from the house, you eat from daddy's table. Marco Sarata, may we not be deceived anymore. Christianity is not democracy. Mama Bo Azakata. It is a kingdom, a royal kingdom, and we are royalties in the name of Jesus. Marco Sarata, Azegede, kings and priests of our Lord Jesus Christ. Aziba, he came to show us the way, and we are walking in his footsteps. Ariga Roda Azakata. Katndearibo, 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 Marco Asarata. All that we have is a blessing from him. And we understand, according to Psalm 119, verse 57, you are my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep your word. So I am, I am, I stay put. I belong to the house. I belong to the kingdom. I, those miracles that God is doing in my life is supposed to show his power. Is supposed to reveal his power. Like when Jesus healed the man in John chapter 9 that was born blind, he said it is to reveal the works of God. Let our blessings reveal the works of God. Let our lives reveal the works of God so that people will not class them as, as religious people. No, I'm not religious. Marco Sarata, Escalama Santo, Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata, Chelelakai, 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 Katniaribo, Marco Sarata, Azibaba, 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 Arigaroda, Azakata. Father, help us to see. Lord, help us to know. It is our portion. It is our inheritance. It is our, 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 uh, 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 gift from you that we should be blessed. It is your will that we should be blessed. So we are asking according to your will. We are not we are not being selfish. We are not grabbing and running. We said, Lord, show me my portion. Give me my portion. Bless me indeed, like Jebus said, and put your hand on me. The person that wants to run doesn't say, God, put your hand on me. No, he says, let, let whatever I do bring you glory. Bless me indeed. Increase my territory. Expand me. Increase me. Promote me. And put your hand on me so that evil doesn't come to me and I will not go to heaven. I will not cause pain. No, no, no. I will not cause pain. God's blessing in my life will not cause anybody pain and it will not cause me pain. Marco Sarata. It will only bring glory to God and it will bring me benefits and rewards. In the name of Jesus, Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata, Chelelakai, 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 Katniaribo, Marco, Sarata, Escalama, Sanctum, Arigaroda, Azakata, Satandana, 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 Aziba, Azibaba, Azibaba, Arigaroda, Azakata, Zakata, 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 Asamare. Katndiaribo, Katndiaribo, Katndiaribo. Chelelakai, 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 Sanctificum Esperamentum, Marco Asarata, Mamabo Azakata, Aziba, 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 Arigaroda, Azakata. Katndiari, Katndiari, Katndiaribo. Azegede, Zegede, Zegede, Zakata. Zakata, 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 Asamare. Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata. Father, help us to know your will. Even though it, it, we don't understand it, we want to learn to obey you. 
because the blessing is in the obedience. The blessing is in the obedience. If you will, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat of the fat of the land. Father, give us revelation. You instruct us in the night season according to Psalm 16. We are coming at this night season to receive instructions. It says there, Psalm 16, verse, verse, um, verse 7. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night season. I have set the Lord always before me. I am not shifting. I am here to stay in daddy's house. I have set the Lord always, always, always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. So my heart is glad. My glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope. We are here because we believe. We believe and we receive for his glory in the name of Jesus. Scientificum esperamentum. Marco Asarata, Mamabo Azakata. You shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. We are speaking into our destiny in the name of Jesus by the power of the word of God. Marco Asarata, not unto us, O Lord, but unto your holy name give glory. Marco Sarata, you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. Mamabo Azakata. When they cast you down, you say exaltation will come. This is what we are proclaiming. This is what we are declaring. This is what we are invoking. Exaltation. In the house of my father, I must be blessed. In the house of my father, I will be blessed. In the house of my father, I am a son. So I will eat from daddy's table. Mako Asarata. Azegede, 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 Azakata. Satan Daramashe. Satan Daramashe. Satan Daramashe. Eskalama Satan. Azegede, Azegede, Azegede. Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata. Zakata, 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 Asamare. Katan de Aribo, Katan de Aribo, Katan de Aribo. Chelelakai, 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 Azegede, Azegede, Azakata. Zakata, Father, open our understanding. Lord, help us to see. Lord, help us to know you are our inheritance. We want to walk with you. We want to talk with you. We want to receive instruction from you in this night season. We want to go and do your will in the name of Jesus. Mamabo Azakata. Azegede Azakata. We are your priest. And you say according to Ezekiel 44 verse 23. And they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and the unholy. And cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean. We are here to do Father's will. So we must be blessed. We are here to do, do Father's will. So we shall be blessed. We are not asking for anything that God has not already given us. We already read Genesis. He blessed them and he said, go and be fruitful and multiply. We are asking according to his will. If we ask anything according to his will, we know that he hears us. And if he hears us, we know we've received. But what we are asking for is revelation, revelation knowledge. We want to know. We want to be clear about what our portion is. We don't want to be like children. We want to be mature in the Lord. We want to know his will clearly so that we don't take and run, so that we don't doubt when it doesn't happen like we thought. And we say, oh, I was asking God for A. Now I see B. Oh, maybe this is not God. Then <laughs> we miss it. No, no, no. We want, That's why we need to pray prophetically, to know for 
our eyes to open to see what we need to know. That same Ezekiel 44, verse 28 downward. He said, it shall be in regard to their inheritance that I am their inheritance. God is our inheritance. Our father is our inheritance. We did not come to the earth with anything. He put everything we ever needed right here. But we need to know which part of this whole earth is my portion. Where is my inheritance in this whole earth? Where do I belong? Where do I settle? You, you told Abraham, leave your people. I will show you. And they are still there. The Israelites are still there. So where is my portion, Lord? Show me. E Ezekiel 44. Let's just continue reading. Verse 28 downwards. It shall be in regard to their inheritance that I am their inheritance. You shall give them no portion in Israel, for I am their portion. Talking about the priest, and uh, like we, we've already said, they shall teach my people. So regulations for the priest. Okay, Ezekiel 44, reading from verse 28 down. You shall give them no portion in Israel, for I am. I am their position. Everything we have belongs to God. All things are ours in Christ Jesus. We just read that in Numbers as well, when God was speaking to Aaron. We need to get this thing. It needs to be clear so that we don't go and do religion and miss out on our real blessing. God spoke to Aaron. The, uh, Numbers 18 verse 8. The Lord spoke to Aaron. I myself have also given you charge over my e uh, um, heave offering. And no, let, verse 20, I think. Verse 20 said, Then the Lord said to Aaron, Yes, you shall have no inheritance in their land, nor shall you have any portion among them. I am your portion and your inheritance among the children of Israel. You see, it's a gift. It's a gift. Even verse 8 too, that I stopped reading. I've given them as a portion to you and your sons as an ordinance forever. So go back to Ezekiel 44. The whole Bible is full of it. That's why I'm bringing all these verses. Ezekiel 44, now verse 29. They shall eat the grain offering and sin offering and the trespass offering. Every dedicated thing in Israel shall be theirs. It's your portion and it's my portion for service because we have chosen, we have made up our minds to do the will of the Father. So his, our life is a gift. It's a gift. I keep saying it. Verse 30, the best of all first fruit of any kind and every sacrifice of any kind from all your sacrifices shall be the priest. Also, you shall give to the priest the first of your ground meal to cause a blessing to rest on your house. You see why I'm saying we are not taking and running? Whatever we own from the Lord, whatever we receive from the Lord, we have to use it and bless the, the family. The, the, the kingdom has to grow. God blessed Abraham and said, be fruitful and multiply, have dominion. So we are not doing like the prodigal son taking and running, even though he understood. The prodigal son is also a son. He knew that he had an inheritance. So Jesus told that so that we should know that even though we mess up, that God didn't, has not kicked us out. So it's time to retrace our footsteps and come back to the Lord. And say, if I did not know before, now I know. The best of all the first fruit of any kind of and every sacrifice of any kind from all the sacrifices shall be the priest. Also, you shall give to the priest the first of your ground meal to cause a blessing to rest on your house. When we work in for the kingdom and in the kingdom. We are putting a blessing on ourselves. We are causing when we when we contribute to kingdom growth, to kingdom purpose, when we contribute to the work of God, 
we are causing a blessing to rest. It's not the blessing that comes and goes. No, 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 no. That blessing will rest and it will be from generation to generation. And you cannot finish it. That's why David says, my cup overflows. Marco Asarata. Eskala Masantum. Aziba, Aziba, Arigaroda, Azakata. Father, open our eyes in this season. This is the middle of the year 2022. Father, whatever we missed up till now, that's why you've given us this opportunity to pray in the, the next half of the year so that we do not miss. Father, we will not miss. We shall be blessed. We shall be blessed in this 2022. We shall be blessed according to your will because we have made up our mind to work according to your word and according to your will. We have made up our minds to be blessed. We have made up our minds that we'll stay in the kingdom and work for the kingdom. We are declaring it. We are decreeing it. And it shall be established according to your will for us. All these Bible verses that we are quoting is the word of God. And we are standing on the word of God, not the, any figment of our imagination. We are not asking what we think or what we feel. We are bringing the word of God to God and say, Lord, you said so. Lord, you said so. Our children, when you promise them something and you don't do, they will tell you, mom, you said so. Dad, you said so. So Lord, he said so. Our father said so. And he is such a good father, he can never go back on his word. Marco Asarata. Ariga Roda at Zakata. And while we are at declaring and decreeing, we have to remember to declare and decree that everything that has been an obstruction, any mountain that has stood in our way, whether we missed the first half of the year or not, by our wrongdoing or lack of understanding or by the work of, working of the enemy, today we declare and we decree. Everything that has been an, a, a hindrance or an obstruction, we hereby bring them to naught. In the mighty name of Jesus, we scatter those mountains. We crush those mountains. They, you mountain, oh Zerubbabel, you shall become a plan. We speak to that mountain to crumble in Jesus' name. According to the word of God. Go and read Zechariah. Zechariah, that's what just entered my mouth now. You mighty mountain, before Zerubbabel, there in... in, uh, in Zechariah chapter 4. Zechariah 4, verse, verse 6. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Who are you, O great mountain? The obstruction, the hindrance, the obstacles, anything that has in any shape or form kept back what was ours. In the name of Jesus, we declare to that mountain, uh, Zechariah 4, verse 7, Who are you, O great mountain? Before Victoria, put your name in it. Before M Minoti, before Marcia, put your name in it. You, you, who are you, O great mountain? Before Victoria, you shall become a plan. You shall, we crush you because we must enter into our destiny. And he shall bring forth the capstone with shout of grace, grace to it. We've been talking about, about grace from the Lord Jesus. The law came through Moses, but grace came through Christ. And we are Christians. Marco Asarata. We are not religious hypocrites. No, 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 no. We are standing on the word of God. And the word must work. The wonders of the word of God must work wonders in our lives. Marco Asarata. We are declaring it. We are decreeing it. This is our time. This is our season. And the Lord is Marco Sarata. The Lord is our portion. We must be blessed in this season. We have to be blessed in this season. Because our blessing is to God's glory. Jesus said that the man that was born blind was, was so so that the works of God will be revealed. The blessing, the outrageous blessing that God is going to pour into our life is so that his, his, his great works will be revealed. 
That's why we are rebuking every mountain, every obstacle, every hindrance in whatever shape or form, mentally, physically, otherwise. We cancel them. We, we crush them. We bring them to naught. Every plan of the enemy, every scheme, null and void in the name of Jesus. And we give glory to God. We say, Father, thank you for your word. We quoted so many Bible portions today. Lord, we agree with every word you spoke over us, that you are the portion of our inheritance. We receive it and we say, thank you, God, the Father. Thank you, God, the Son. Thank you, God, the Holy Spirit. In the matchless name of Jesus, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Accept our gratitude and do for us, even as we ask, because you say, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Lord, do according to our heart's desire because we are asking according to your word, according to your will. Lord, release it for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We receive instructions in the midnight hour. God bless you. I declare over you that the blood of Jesus is our refuge that the light of the Holy Spirit is our shield and the love of the Father is a mighty blessing firewall of protection around us. The enemy cannot see us. He cannot smell us. He cannot touch us. We are invisible to the stinking crooked hands of the enemy. We are covered in the precious blood of Jesus. Be blessed and go and be fruitful and multiply for your Father's glory and for your benefit and the benefit of the body of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you and bye for now. See you same time. We only have a few days to go. Bye.